Alrighty, welcome back to Dragon's Mind this year. And instead of fighting a gigantic crowd I just find, you'll be fighting a Whopper Flower that was Albedo? But also not Albedo? Whatever. Uh, anyway, that quest was amazing, and this boss is actually extremely easy. I was actually so surprised as to how easy it was that I just decided to farm it before I actually did any of the actual like guide making. Uh, and I'll show you how easy it is because I actually thought I'd be doing anything different But after beating it about ten times it actually is Not that hard. So of course we'll be doing this free to play. We're using Traveler, Amber, Noel, and Shengling I highly suggest keeping any ranged pyro unit like Amber because she is detrimental to melting one of the shields um, Traveler, Noel, and Shengling can be replaced with anyone you want uh, You can bring another shield unit if you want. It doesn't really matter Just make sure you have someone that can shoot arrows at ranged and can melt uh, if you have those things in your party, you should be set. So, just as a disclaimer, I am world level 8, so this is as hard as it gets. And uh, this is the reason why my characters are pretty de pretty decently built. Yeah, I have my Festering Desire from last year, Ascent, White Blind, Bane. I have these semi-built characters here. Uh, so the reason why I am doing that is because I'm just doing it for the sake of time. Because... After a certain point, this boss literally becomes a snuff film. It's actually so easy that I actually almost tried falling asleep and I still didn't get hit. Although that is an exaggeration, I'm pretty sure this just kind of shows a show like how easy the boss actually is. So, without any further ado, let's just begin. And don't forget, you can eat food, and I highly suggest bringing the NRE if you can, because because the fact that the thing is in co-op, if you try to eat food. Uh, you have a risk of getting hit because you can't pause the multiplayer game. So just be aware of that if you're trying to do anything. So, single button. Let's start. And Alright, so when the boss starts, just head over here to one of these fourth lamps. And uh, I highly suggest you actually don't shoot it with Amber, as tempting as it is because of a cryo shield. Because if you do, it might spawn one of those arcane essence crystals that actually will uh, absorb if you're not close to it. And then you'll lose those Prima Gems for the achievement for the event. But here you can see that it's hammering me like Super Smash Bros. Just dodge these snowballs and uh, get someone that hits fast like Shaolin or something. And after that, step one is done. And here, pick these up, but be careful because these, when you pick them up, look at my health bar. They're going down extremely quickly. So be careful of how much damage you actually take. Maybe swap them with the character if you need to. When it does this, just you know, run in any direction. You can uh, even run towards it if you want to. Those things are very easy to dodge, and so when this happens, if it's in the air, use Amber and use some physical arrows to shoot it. Be careful of the crystal that shoots at you, you could get hit, but it shouldn't be that much of a deal. Uh, and we literally repeat the same process. Pick up these arcane essences and take a little bit of damage, and just wait it out. Maybe it might throw snowballs at me, maybe it starts a third phase immediately. Huh, well, look at that. So use Amber, shoot the arrows, and it should spawn the... Uh, the cryo slime but it should be too add. And you can see here, uh, you don't have to pick these up because look at the cryo shield, it's very low. Just shoot it once. There you go. So all those crystals will be gone and this thing will shrink down. And all you need to do now is an ouchie. Okay. All you need to do is literally just fight the boss. And now, it literally is the easiest part of the, of the entire boss. I can literally walk out of its attacks. Watch this. See? Even this one, I can walk out of it. It literally doesn't get easier than this. And I'm just going to continue doing this. It's actually this easy. The snowballs, you can walk out of again. I'm just going to shoot the slime real quick because I don't want it responding against stuff and annoying me. But look at this. Very easy. And if you're very paranoid, you can also use Traveler's Brock to block the projectiles. Come on, shoot at me. Watch this. See? Very easy. And now, this is literally the entirety of the rest of the boss fight. So I'm just going to go in the head. Because it's actually super easy. As all it does is just this weird shit. It actually doesn't do much other than these three moves, which is the snowballs, the uh, teleport underneath you, the little turret thing, and I think the other one is swirling when you get too close. But otherwise, yeah, that's it. So you can drop a rock on it, you can shoot it with amber. Uh, 
hit it for a bunch of damage if you want to. Drop a rock, drop a club on it. It really doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't get easier than this. So, let's just finish the fight, because it's literally the rest of the fight. Let's just really it. You can see it's doing the exact same moves over and over and over again. It actually doesn't do anything else. I'm surprised it's not doing anything else because I wanted this boss to be a little bit harder, but hey, if it's going to be easier for a lot of other people, I'm glad because people can get the rewards this season. No escape. Yeah, it's dead. We're good. Done. That easy. Uh, and I hope this will shed light as to how easy this boss is. And well, in the case that you do co-op, maybe you might find someone that could help you out if you're still struggling, but this boss really is one of the easiest bosses I've ever fought in a limited time event. So, if you want to see what it looks like when it comes to a whale squad beating this thing in about one hit, uh, well, here you go. Alright, cool. It should be going down now. There is no escape! Alright, now, I can do this. This is order! Then I see this. Vengeance will be mine. Beg for mercy. Eye for an eye. More speed. And it's dead. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. But otherwise, yeah, that's about it. I hope this guy was helpful, and I wish you happy hunting.